Andy Mogul. Welcome to the second episode of War Movie Month on Backyard Effects. War Movie Month! My name is Zach Vinfrock, and today I'm showing you how to make a 30 caliber machine gun. <laughs> Now you guys have wanted guns in the past and probably still want us to make guns now. Well, I'm going to grant some of your wishes by doing a 30 cal machine gun. Now if you're going to do a scene that needs a mounted machine gun, like this one's for you. I'm going to be showing you how to make it with PVC pipe and this cool foam technique that I picked up off of the internets like you guys are watching right now because that's how we pick up everything nowadays is the internet. Puppet Zack! How much are we spending on this bill? A pack of random screws, a hose sprayer, spray paints, a toy ammo belt, 10 inch hanger tape, 3 inch PVC, and a quarter inch PVC, some foam mats, I only used one out of the four pack, a Dremel, hot glue, hacksaw, razor pens, and a power drill. This build's difficulty level is... Nine. Simple time lapse. Woo! The first thing I did was measure and cut the three inch PVC to the right size. A 30 cal machine gun is about 38 inches long with the barrel being about 24. My barrel goes all the way through the gun for support, so I measured it and cut the piece at about 36 inches. Using picture references, I guessed the holes in the barrel were about an inch and a half apart. So I marked 11 points and drilled them out with a power drill. I first started with a small drill bit and then the largest one I had. I then marked the next line of holes and drilled those. This took a while since I had to do this for every row of holes. But once it was done, it looked great. I then used a drill and some razor pens to clean out the edges of some of the holes. Next, I had a friend slowly spin the PVC while I took my Dremel and cut lines along the end of the barrel. I then took my sanding bit and sanded out between the lines. I also cut little grooves on the end of the barrel. Then I grabbed a piece of the foam and cut circles out for the ends of the gun and to also hold the quarter inch PVC inside the three inch PVC. Once I made sure the pieces fit, I took the quarter inch PVC, cut it to size, and painted a coat of black paint on it. Once that was dry, I put the pieces together. The foam actually holds the PVC together well enough that I didn't have to hot glue them. The next part is a lot of measuring and cutting of foam. Now this took me a while because I wanted to match up when I glued it all together. It was a lot of trial and error for me. Lucky for you, if you go to this link, you'll see a layout of the pieces and a longer video showing me cut all the pieces separately. Once all the pieces were cut, I glued them all together. The great part about this foam is it reacts to the heat of the glue, almost melting the pieces together. After that was done, I cut and glued the hose sprayer to the back of the base. I then also made the loading top of the gun. Again, a layout for this loading top is located at the link. Once all the glue had dried, I started to add the screws. I looked at plenty of references to make sure they matched. And then I added the hanger tape to the bottom of the base on both sides, putting the screws in each hole, just like it looks in the real 30 cal machine gun. Then I took the whole gun did a flat coat of black paint, then added a light coat of dark green. I couldn't find any army green, so this worked fine. I also bought an ammo case from my local army surplus store to add to the effect of this looking like a real machine gun. I also propped it on a broken tripod to give the full effect. And you're done. Now remember, don't walk in public with this. Don't do it. Now, instead of a test film, just like last week, 
No test film this week, but we are going to show you a small clip of the test film tomorrow. So go check it out. And that is it for the second War Movie Month episode, The 30 Cal Machine Gun. Now, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the gun and the episode. And then, this is the newest episode of Backyard Effects, because it's always the first video I say. Then the second video is the contest. We've got some great entries, but it's still open. It's open until the 25th of this month. So keep submitting. So the contest, Backyard Effects, contest, Backyard Effects.